lovers welcome to my channel my name is made for love and today we are having one of our conversations um i think i did the last time i did a conversation um was a lovers lane i think last month but you know people didn't really respond to it like they used to so i stopped doing it but i'm i'm being guided today to bring a conversation to you um and it's a conversation between um dm's mom whether they have transitioned or they are still present um in body um, um to df or viewer however you view yourself viewer viewer so because anybody can watch this right viewer right so i'm going to be using these sight cards i really love this deck it's beautiful it's the artwork is so gorgeous and you know i love vintage and antique things so this is vintage this is 1989 sight cards i just love them okay so we're gonna see oh yeah okay no this is fine let us see what mama-in-law <laughs> wants to talk about that now mama-in-law want to talk about death okay um there's been some sort of tower moment i see card number 16 here but 16 also reduced to seven which is a chariot which is moving forward forward movement so something has died something has transformed something has collapsed in order to push you or your person through a portal a part has been is being made through a mountain some obstacle a path has been made through an obstacle okay and it looks like mom's come to tell you um about that it's some kind of portal and there's skulls on this portal when you go through this portal um you're going to be absolutely transformed okay yeah there was a there was an obstacle but spirit made a path through the obstacle so um it looks like she's come to talk about that now when i say she it is only the energy because it could have been whoever modeled the feminine energy to your person might have been um someone male in body okay if this is not a mother energy if it's not their mother um it is whoever models the feminine energy to them when they were a child okay so let's see all right so she wants to talk about some kind of transformation <clears throat> what is this card i didn't even ask okay we have the warrior i don't know if this is her energy or your person's energy i did not even ask okay something is ending though card number 28 all right so let's have a look and then the wheel was on the bottom so something is definitely ending all right so um overall energy you want to talk about death and transformation right um let's ask what does moms want to talk about moms want to talk about the sage some sort of wisdom here now i notice that this card is number 31 um the vibration of the empress and the vibration of the um of the magician okay so it's a balance between masculine and feminine energy and the empress and the magician even though people don't pair them as counterparts they do the exact same job they bring things from the 5d and bring it down into the 3d they are more counterparts quite frankly for me than the emperor and the empress because they do the same thing they have the same power okay so we have a sage we have wisdom coming through somebody that is wise so maybe could be that she's embodying this energy and she has come to um give some kind of counsel um some kind of wisdom this could be definitely be um her higher self coming through um if you know that in the 3d she's not like that okay it could be the higher self that's coming through but i feel like there's some kind of wisdom that she's coming to impart especially with the energy underneath the deck being um her wanting to talk about transformation and a blockage being removed by spirit so this could definitely be it um so it could definitely be someone who is in ancestorhood all right so we're, we're gonna pull some cards on that but this is what she wants to talk about she want to talk about wisdom okay now it could be that this is your person embodying this at this time because this person also looks like a hermit okay and in turn since you have the opportunity <laughs> we don't let opportunities go to waste what do you want to talk about viewer what do you want to talk to her about well you want to talk about the sun 
okay so you want to talk about happiness okay you want to talk about your awakening it's a card number 20 um you want to talk about spirituality it's a card the vibration of two which is the high priestess and you may want to talk about your masculine because the sun is the highest vibration of masculine energy which is raw okay so let us um just pull a couple cards on these so we know for sure what everybody here wants to talk about and then I'm going to see how they're feeling just being in the room with each other and this kind of interaction. So let's have a look. Hold on. If you want me to bring more conversations again, let me know. But the last time I tried a conversation, like you guys didn't buy you, like you didn't want to hear it. Or maybe you just don't want to hear from your DM. Maybe it was you don't want to hear from your DM, right? Because <laughs> that last one flopped. We have Ace of Cups, okay? Um, new opportunities in love. Okay. So let's put some cards on the stage. Spirit, what does <clears throat> mom's want? Whoa, 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 whoa. She want to talk about the truth. She want to talk about being authentic. So she have, a, she have a message for you. Let's pull two other cards. But that, that flew out, right? That flew out. Let's pull two other cards. We have the five of cups in reverse. Heart is heart healing. And we have the high priestess in reverse, which may also talk about um, the revelation of a secret. And it looks like the revelation of a secret um, with regard to a karmic, right? This is um, um, the golden karmic in my readings. Okay, so let's have a look. All right, so they want to they wanted give you some kind of truth. Whatever this truth that she's going to talk about, um, it's going to help you heal your heart, she's saying. Okay this whatever this is okay um she's also letting you know that you already know this you already have this in your psyche um in your energy energy field but you've not been listening um to your intuition but whatever it is it's going to heal your heart okay so she, she's coming she's bringing some kind of wisdom some higher kind of higher guidance um for you and you want to talk about the sun We have the Queen of Swords. So you two want to speak some truths here. <laughs> oh, well, my mom used to call that home truths. You want to see some home truths. That's what, she, that's what she used to say when she want to tell it like it is, right? You want to tell it like it is. And you want to talk about some kind of co codependency or toxic relationship that she has with the DM. You're bold, you're fast. <laughs> yes, and you have death in reverse. So you want to talk some home truth. You want her to love herself or DM to love himself. But you confront it. Hey, hey, hey. Um, DF, DF, hold back, hold back, hold back. Okay. You're in some kind of confrontation mode right here. Right? Hold back. She's coming in peace, right? She has something to tell you. Hold back, right? You don't have to, um, whatever you're going to say, don't be disrespectful. Eh? Right? Remember, we're supposed to respect our elders. Don't be disrespectful. I feel a disrespectful vibe coming from you. Let me see what each person is feeling um, right now being in this room with each other. But they are looking fiery. I don't know what's going on. All right, let's get three cards. Mom's how you're feeling. She's strong. She feels strong, empowered. Very nice energy. Um, obsessed. Okay. So this is definitely the 3D self. So she wants to impart her knowledge and her wisdom. Okay. And um, we have purposeless. Okay. So you sensed her vibration before I did. That's why you came out fiery one time. I'm understanding now. And DF, how are you feeling? Withdrawn? Why you even want to talk to me? <laughs> so you're very protective. Feeling kind of anxious. You are like you on hooks. You want to know what you want to say. And then you're just going through the motions because you're not particularly interested anyway. All right. I hear you. I hear you. All right. Let me go over here first. Why are you feeling, why are you, why are you feeling withdrawn? What's this about? What's this about? Why do you want to withdraw? Page of Cups. 
because you feel like she owes you an apology why you think that she's a comic girlfriend what you saying oh you think that she spread lies and rumors on you and you think that she come back to lie again i hear you sister okay and that's why you're anxious is it yeah because you feel that she is one of the root causes behind um your discomfort and one of the main reasons why your dear may still be with a karmic energy so you're anxious to hear what she has to say when you feel like she's at the root of it all but you're going through the emotions though you feel kind of trapped in this conversation or ambushed in this conversation and you're waiting to see um, what is going to re be revealed so you, you're doing a wait and see approach let's see what she come with and then we will respond okay all right now mom's over here feeling strong okay okay then all right so she's coming off with a karmic energy queen of pentacles um in reverse and she is seeking seeking her stability it feels like this may resonate for those who definitely know that their dm is supporting um a parental figure or is a caregiver um to a parental figure or their their dm may be attached to their mother in um you know emotional incest right in a kind of incestuous way i'm not talking about sexual physical sexual i'm talking about emotional incest where they make um their their son or, or their daughter like their spouse whatever they can't get from their spouse they seek it um in their children in their children so she's coming off strong she feels empowered but she's obsessed with what five of swords she's coming to create a conflict She feels like you are creating a lot of conflict and you are uh, the reason why DM might be leaving some sort of stable situation. And she's coming because <clears throat> if DM leaves a stable situation, somehow it's going to impact upon her and her stability. Because she doesn't have a life of her own. That's why she's feeling purposeless. She doesn't have a life of her own. DM is her stability and foundation. She feels powerless without him. Now, she, she kind of sounded like the kind of vibes that we get when we do the third party comic readings, doesn't it? This is very interesting. You know what you guys should watch? Um, go in my interviews playlist and check out the interview with DM's mother. This is feeling also like what we got when we did that interview with DM's mom. Check out that interview with DM's mother. That it's feeling just like the same energy. Anyway, so um, she called this meeting. So we're going to see what she want to say. So she wants to impart her wisdom. She believes that she's an elder. Um, she knows better. And maybe she does. Right? She has a life experience. Right? So there's some kind of wisdom that she's coming to impart. She want to talk some kind of home truths and add her two cents um, to the mix. So let's see what she want to say. Underneath the deck, ten of swords in reverse. All right. So <clears throat> she feeling hurt too. All right. Let's see. Let's get three cards. Spirit, so what does she want to say to DF? She's called this meeting. Okay, oh, shit. Um, we have the higher fun. She coming out blazing. The full reverse. Eight of wands in reverse. This is why you came out blazing. You sensed her energy before I did, right? I thought it was a higher self coming through. No, it's not a higher self coming through. She is saying, "You fool." Do you really think that he is going to be foolish enough um, to leave his marriage, marriage or commitment or his family um, in order to be with you? No, he's stuck there. He has responsibilities there. She said, you're a little hussy. She said, we are, she said, you're a little hussy, DF. 
She said, you're a little hussy. He's married and he's stuck there. He has responsibilities and he's not going to be taking any leap of faith in your direction. Don't be stupid. Okay, so Def, I now understand why you came out blazing like that. You sensed her energy long before I did. I was giving her the benefit of the doubt. But she just called you a hussy, dear. What you gonna say? What you gonna do? <laughs> you know, I'm like one of those friends. <laughs> no. You gonna take that? <laughs> Ace of Cups. You are standing in the power of love. So you don't have to return the same energy. She called your hussy. You can rise above that. Okay. When they go low, we go high or something like that. Right. Star card in reverse. Three of wands. And the two of pentacles in reverse. What are you saying to her? You're saying, you know what? That's okay. And that's all right. You understand that he has karma um, to balance off in that in that relationship. You're also understanding that she's very wounded. Uh, and she's speaking from that woundedness. And that... She's right. You have been waiting for him to take a leap of faith. But no longer... No longer, moms. You're right. I was wounded and I was waiting for him to take a leap of faith. But no longer. I'm forging my own path. I'm stable on my own. I don't need him and I don't need you. And I certainly don't need the drama. So thank you very much. And she says, moms, we don't need you. We don't need him. We certainly don't need the drama. And she says, King of Swords in reverse. High Priestess. And the Knight of Pentacles. She's like, you have so much faith in him, don't you? You think that he's going to show up at some point in time with a solid offer you? I'm here to tell you that he is not. He has been lying to you. Okay? He has things that he has not told you. You don't know everything that is happening. She says you don't know everything. He's been lying to you. What do you have to say to that, DF? We have Ten of Pentacles. Knight of Wands in reverse. And the Five of Swords in reverse. Well, he's been telling me that he wants us to be a family. That he thinks I'm a high value woman, a high value spouse. He thinks that he's, he, he does, he told me that he didn't want to be a player anymore and that he wanted peace between us, that he wanted us to make up. And she says, Moms, he said he wants a family with the F. And that he want to make up. He said he don't want to be a player anymore. What do you have to say to that, moms? Eight of swords. Three of pentacles. And the hangman. He is lying. He is not going anywhere. He's stuck where he's at. Okay? He has invested heavily in that other relationship, he is not going a place. He feels very responsible for the family members there. He is not going a place. He is lying. And dear, what do you have to say to that? She says that he's lying. He's stuck where he's at. And you're like death. Six of swords in reverse. And knight of cups in reverse. 
At this point, I'm not really interested in any love offer from him, from him. If he comes through, if he changes, that's fine. But if he stopped there, that's also fine with me. I don't rely on him for anything. And mom says, mom's dear says she doesn't rely on him for anything. If he comes forward, that's lovely. And if he doesn't, that's also fine with her. She's independent, unlike you. Um, and she says, five of cups in reverse. Six of Swords in reverse. And Seven of Swords in reverse. I'm so glad that you've been healing your heart and really doing your healing. Because even though you are living an authentic life, he is not ready to live an authentic life. He is not ready to move on from who he was. He is still stuck in his woundedness. And what do you say, dear? She says he's still stuck. Says three of pentacles. Nine of wands. And ace of pentacles in reverse. I don't need him to give me any solid offers. I can create solid offers on my own. I also have options as well. I am creating the life that I want and I'm standing my power. I'm not going to give my power away to anyone. If he wants to do that and stay in an unstable relationship, he can do that. But I will not be dragged into that. She's not going to be dragged into that. The F is not going to be dragged into that, moms. Two of Wands. Ten of Cups in Reverse. And Ace of Cups in Reverse. Yes, I know the situation that he's in is toxic. And I also know that he's not happy. And I also know that he was trying to make a choice. But I taught him to stick by his responsibilities. And I expect him to stay exactly where he's at. If he works hard at it, something will be a fruit. Therefore, she got to say to that. She thinks that if he sticks with it, something is going to be a fruit. Nine of cups in reverse. Queen of cups. And the three of swords in reverse. I think it's just very sad that she would know that her child, her responsibility, someone that she, <laughs> nine months, <laughs> held in her womb for nine months would be so unhappy and she would be just fine um, with him staying in a toxic relationship. She should know better. She should be encouraging him. To go after his dreams and go after his happiness and to heal his heart. That's what moms do. They hold space for their children. They don't see their children unhappy and encourage them to stay there. What do you have to say to that moms? Moms, do you have things you're not doing your job? Why would you encourage your child to stay somewhere that's not happy and that's somewhere that's toxic? I already know the answer. Though. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles. Because it's stable. Two of Pentacles in reverse. It's, it's all about the money. And three of swords in reverse. Because it's stable. It's stable. It's stable. It's grounded. It's abundant. He doesn't have to release any third party. He can heal his heart right there. Once you have financial stability, you're going to be fine. Strength in reverse. Hierophant in reverse. And the magician. 
I think you underestimate your child. And I can see why he was, he kept giving his power away to that situation. And I could see why he would settle for something that didn't um, honor him. And he would stay in a contract um, that was dysfunctional. But I think, and I believe in him, and I do see that he's changing. And I think pretty soon he's going to choose something different and he's going to manifest something different. Because he's divine. And I think he knows exactly who he is. And I think he's different from you guys. I think he can do better. And I think he will do better. And moms, what do you say about that? Jeff says that he's different from you guys. And that she believes in him. The world. Oh, crap. This woman is rude, you know. Um, the five of wands in reverse. And the seven of cups in reverse. She's like, girlfriend, you need to wake up. Whatever fantasy world that you're living in, it needs to end. He's not going anywhere. He's afraid of conflict, okay? You need to wake up and smell the roses and stop all the illusions and fantasies that you have in your head. DF. Oh, my God. <laughs> DF, come on with the world in reverse. The High Priestess. And the Eight of Wands. Whilst you may think that things are over between DM and I, it's only just begun. It will never be over, okay? We will always have the psychic link. You will always have the psychic connection. And you can't do anything about that. Not you, not anybody else um, on this earth. We will be moving forward. You have no control over that. Absolutely none. So two of cups in reverse. Judgment. And four of swords. You need to wake up. I think you're allowing your wounding from the past to blind you. You're just codependent. This is not going to happen. And you just need to wake up and accept that. You need to wake up and accept it, she says. Yeah. Four of Swords in reverse. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse. And the Ace of Wands. Dear, she, dear says, don't worry about me. I have the divine behind me. I have the divine on my side. You need to worry about why you keep getting yourself stuck in the same hurtful cycles over and over again and why you're passing this on or trying to pass this on to your children that's what you need to worry about don't worry about me i'm going to be fine so i think i'm going to end this convo here because what do you have to say again king of cups in reverse judgment in reverse the only person that needs to wake up is you and realize that you are in a toxic situation and you have attracted toxic partners to yourself and that is because you are wounded okay i'm going to leave the f with the last word there all right so spirit i think if we continue um it is going to get even more feisty okay because um she came with that energy and then df responded so I, I only think it's going to get uh, it's only going to go downhill from here okay right and this is an elder so we're gonna have we're gonna respect her and just um politely leave this conversation but not before we get the advice from spirit spirit what do you have to say what's the advice for df all right and what do you have? What's the advice for moms? Okay. <laughs> and what's the advice for the overall energies here? Okay. So for DF, what do you get? Sacred heart, 
passion, love, and spiritual communion. Spirit say, you just keep on holding your vision. You know what this is about. She cannot understand what's happening here. Okay, remember, she is still wounded. She is um, projecting her own woundedness and her own relationship trauma onto you. So don't even worry about her. And we have moonlight. It says travel, romance, and potential. Now, she has the potential um, to manifest the life of her dreams, but she has to go deep, dig deep into her emotions, go deep into um, her own subconscious, her own unconscious, and really start healing and confronting some of the shadows there. So instead of worrying about what you're doing, she needs to be on her own healing journey, Spirit is saying. Oh, it's the same card, but back and front. Okay. And the message of healing, we have moonlight goddess, repressed emotions, healing and reflection. All right, I'm going to read that one from the deck, okay? So that's the advice for both of you guys. Oh, it's a card number two. I didn't see the number there. What's the advice? Moonlight goddess. Okay. The moonlight angel depicted on this card is here to reflect back to you the repressed emotions you have stored inside of yourself. That's for both of you guys. You guys both have repressed emotions, right? That's what it wants you to deal with. She's here to heal you through your dreams. Guys, go watch my teacup reading from Sunday where I got some healing through my dreams. This is so interesting. But in order for this healing to take place, you must pour out your heart and express how you truly feel. So, you know, it's good that you guys got that off your chest. Do this for yourself and for others. Remember all that you repress not only affects you, but it also affects those around you, especially those you love the most. It is safe to acknowledge your feelings. It is all right to cry. Just surrender and let it go. You are surrounded by love and the healing energies of the goddess. You are eternally loved and eternally protected. In the coming month, you will reflect on the past. The past is back. Go and watch a teacup reading. Um, you will give thanks and let go of old hurts, and, old hurts and disappointments. Only the loving memories will keep. Only the loving memories you will keep inside your heart. Then, once the chambers of your heart are yet again full of light. A new season begins, a new journey, a new joy, a new passion. And the affirmation here is, I give thanks for the healing that has taken place in my life. I express all I feel honestly and lovingly without fear or apprehension. I'm one with the earth and all creation. So what I'm getting in the coming months, I think you're going to have a lot of conversations like these, whether in the dream state or in reality. And Spirit is saying, get everything off your chest because whatever you hold inside it affects you and it doesn't just affect you emotionally it affects your physicality and your physical body it makes you sick so spirit saying you're going to be offered the opportunity this month to really get some stuff off your chest and you should okay all right my love that was your reading i'm going to see if i can link those two videos below the reading for you guys so you don't have to go searching for it um i am so grateful for your likes, your shares, dislikes, the subscribes. They all help the channel grow. It helps our community grow. Um, and for those of you that have been buying me the cups of coffee in the pinned comment, thank you so much for that. Um, and if you can go a step further and interact with any of the ads that may have played during this reading, that is beautiful energy exchange for me. And I thank you so much for it. And please do friendly read that you enjoy because they will all they will they will always be grateful. That's a great gift and energy exchange um, to give to any intuitive that you follow. All right, my loves, take care. Bye.